Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk um, as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel. I say may God bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. I get video away I want to present to Una this very moment. And I go to follow now. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Bolane Tiany or Bolane Leya or no Bolane Cunya Ijiku on Tisa Ijiku or Bassa Sukoki Cabia Matiso on ya On your Bola Bunu Shay, your Bola Wu Shagi On your Bola Bunu Chibut or Bagara Ibute Cosa say Ibuti Cosi see Jehovah was going ya Sit and I'm an opera again with Jesus Christ Amen um uh my brother thank you no election we stand on on no election equation also no election no election i keep hammering it i thank god um simon Epa is also hammering on the subject no election so that we will not tell and say it is we didn't know or we never heard No election. Um, um, before I start, I want to emphasize on one little thing. You know, distraction. Distraction is not when somebody come and carry you to another point. No. The enemy, the devil, is very corny, very tricky. He comes with tricks. Now, the problem Biafrans are seen as problem now is who is an oath member and who is not an oath member. Um, please, if you are not hearing me clearly, let me understand. You are free to drop your message. You are free to, to invite other people. Call them online. Share the message. Please, it's important. So, like, okay, make I come down. As we, the, as I the talk before, the problem where we get na distraction. Now, this social media is very good and is very dangerous. It they bad, it they good. How the person will be say in the um, how a problem will be say person take oath and person no take oath. Make we not allow all these things if they distract us. Anybody will not be for you, you know, go fight for you. Anybody will not belong to the family of Biafra, you know, go stand up for family of Biafra. Simeon Ekba now, now be the problem where the cover people are, whether he take oath, whether he not take oath. I beg. Oh, to know they important now. Waiting they important now. Waiting we they do. Oh, to know go fight our battle for us. Oh, to know go do waiting we suppose do for us. What about those we don't take oath, we don't leave mercy? When he never get problem. Some take oath, we will not say they they on top, they take oath. Where they they? They never leave. We go there, they look for who take oath and who no take oath. The enemy go enter, do what he want to. And before we know, it go too late. This one, uh, something what I just want to throw in. I beg. Make we know they look for who take oath. Me, I no take oath. I no take oath. Everybody, they fight. Make we get freedom. Nobody make we take oath. Who take oath to take oath? Where all today important now when somebody 
when you want carry responsibility, give the person. You need the person to take oath so that you will be trusted that that person will carry out that assignment perfectly. Which am I for carry oath to intake oath when day to day? Yeah, which am I for took an oath? Where is which am I for today? The in all the rumors, where would they hear be say in hand the day for waiting that happen for onion to her onion to her today? Where is which am I for I be in oh oh to know you know take a well. Who want be enemy? Who want to eat with the enemy? Go eat with the enemy. So many day. Where, okay, now you see about today. You see Abia State today. All those people will obey that instruction. Where they never even give them. Where is the verse? Even when we do, even when the DOS they don't call them, say make on a stop sitting at home. Make on a go market. They say lie lie. We know they sit. We know they go market. We go sit at home. They deny themselves the pleasure, deny themselves the business um, activities, everything. Go sit for their house. They take oath. They don't take oath. So many people, they will never take oath. Where they do more than those, we take oath. So make we leave who take oath and who no take oath. Oath to not be waiting, oath to not be problem. People they take oath to spoil them. Even blood oath to people they caught blood or suck or drink. Still, they go find way to file them. And they kill the person where they carry take oath. Oath to not be the thing in my heart. Anybody where we see, say, in heart they clean, in heart they pure, make we follow that person. I never see Simeon Ekpa talk anything against our purpose, against Maze, against Biafra, against Onyendu. No, against the Chukwu Kika Biafra. No, I've never. So what is our problem? Why we go define who take oath and who no take oath? Make we leave this oath thing, I beg. Make we leave them. As me and they here now they talk, if I no take oath, make I no talk. I get so many to everybody. Okay, as you they listen to me now. If you not take oath, you not go listen to me. We they bring divisions when we no know. And all these things now the work of the enemy. Now and when enemy come, you go just throw in one small thing. Gam, this man where you they listen to, he no take oath to. Why go they listen to them? Now so you go spread like crazy when you drop crazy for a piece of paper like this. You go soak all the paper. Now so the enemy the work. Make we leave Simeon Ekba alone. Make we leave Simeon Ekba alone. If you no one listen to waiting in the talk, leave him. But no go the talk bad because as you the talk bad, you despoil people mind for this race. Where would they go? Some say it they monetize, he monetize it, they take and do business. Open your own YouTube channel, take and do business. The important thing be waiting in the talk. Now waiting we meet. Waiting in the give us. Now waiting the help us. So whether you pay him or whether government pay him, whether YouTube pay him, whether Facebook pay him, that one no supposed to consign me. He no supposed to consign you. I beg. I de beg everybody. This one now just shipping. So the main thing where me and one talk today, he get one girl, one small girl where I don't they hear this thing he don't tell he don't they reach three months now where they carry the girl. When I know say our police <coughs> excuse me, that is why it's important. Whenever we hear instructions, sit at home, make we obey. When we hear instructions, go your normal business, make you go. One girl I hear say one small girl where they take wayek or where one take jam. In name na glory or cone. I beg help me share this video. The only way we we'll go fight to save this girl is by sharing and the posting and the making comment, making sure that our everything we say about this girl reach all over the world. I beg everybody. So this little girl, I don't know if you don't hear about her or you never hear. This girl called Glory Okon 
is a girl that was arrested, I think, in Imo State. But it's in Biafra land. She was arrested by police and she was tagged. That's the police arrest them. Consay the police, uh, consay the girl, na Biafra girl, na Biafra uh, ESN girl, Eastern Security Network girl. I don't know how that small girl go be Eastern Security girl. I don't know what they believe say that small girl go they do for Biafra in the battle. The girl no get any YouTube account where in the fight for Biafra. You no get any uh, Facebook account where in the fight for Biafra. You no get any weapon where in the tech fight for Biafra. Police just carry this girl for road. Say in be Biafra uh, in the fight for Biafra. They carry and go their station. I don't know where they call the keep them for a where they say that place is a dangerous place. Fortunately for this girl, one or other man they carry the same day. As they carry him, go there. Police can't they use the girl as the man they tell us. Say the girl tell us say police they sex sex molest her. The police where they there, they they use them now as sex slave. Now you go cook police food. Now you go wash police clothes. So fortunately for the Okada man, they can't leave the Okada man. The Okada man come as the girl don't send them. He can't go the girl family. Go tell the family because nobody know where the girl they. They don't go police stations, go hospitals. They don't see them. So as the Okada man come out, he can't go meet the, the, the parents of the girl as in given direction. Content they say, see where on a daughter day, see what it happened, see what it happened. The Congo police station, police is denying. The Congo, uh, finally, finally, they meet um, um, uh, uh, somebody in the police station, whether a DPO, whether an IPO, where begin the collect money, all these things, where they tell you now, life, the receipt of the money where they collect from the family, it they intact. They produce them. So as they collect the money in two occasions. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Shuku Dweme. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please share this video so that everywhere, everywhere, everyone can see it from all over the world. Under this heaven. That is what we need. This is a very painful, touching story. A very painful, touching story. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I have to carry this baby. So, this girl family, the girl's family went to police and then the police, they deny, say they know now. Finally, one agree, say, pay money into account. We go bring her out. They pay money two times, they don't give the girl. Wait till they hear finally. They don't carry the girl, go Apoja. That Okata man will give information to the family. They invite and tell and make it come carry in Okada way there for police station. The man go carry in Okada. The man they arrest him. Till today, nobody see that Okada man again. Nobody know where he did. Whether they don't kill him, whether they don't bury him, whether they don't cut him using pass, do anything, nobody know. Now Nigeria police be that for you. Why are the beg make on a pass this information out? Because that girl and that other man, they don't do anything. And these are examples of what policemen are doing. Daily on our land, they kill people and walk away as if nothing happened. They carry people, innocent people, innocent citizens, throw them into detentions, throw them into prisons, without trials many of our brothers and sisters not even only from Biafra land from all over that country are in detentions today many are in prison many are in Kirikiri without trial many are underground are in the underground prisons without trial that is what you get in Nigeria we must fight for this girl. 
We may not have guns, we may not have matches and weapons, but our weapons are this social media. We have to use every medium and say and speak and cheer until these authorities know that this girl must be released. You cannot arrest a girl under 20 years and use her sexually molest her, sexually molest her, use her as your slave police. And after that, you deny that girl freedom. You deny her bail now. Nobody know her whereabouts. The parents has been told that the girl has been transferred to Abuja. For what? What is the girl's offense? It's only in Nigeria that the policeman will arrest you and they tag you anything they like. If policeman arrest you on the road for no purpose and ask you for money, if you refuse to give them the money, they may tag you a criminal. They may tag you a wanted criminal. They may tag you a suspect with weapons. They have weapons in abundance to throw into your bag and there is nothing you can do to come out of it. This is Nigeria. What a wicked people. What a wicked nation. What a wicked force. No wonder in Nigeria. Nigeria is the only country that has police that is called police force. What an evil doing. What an evil. Oh, it's so painful. Go look and see that girl. See that girl speak to a very innocent small girl. How can you arrest that girl and call her a, 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 a Biafran a Biafran fighter? You never saw her with any associated with any Biafra. You you oh, thank you, my sister from Kano. Thank you. Oh my brother, thank you from Kano. Thank you. Help me share this video that it will go far, that many will get this video. No election. There's no doubt about it. We have to keep emphasizing on this no election until everyone became aware, becomes aware, and it is it will be soaked in us that there will be no election. For your information, you heard that the reason why you know that the reason why ESN was established is because of the Funani Hessmen. You know the reason why Sunday Boho of Oduduwa land, of Yoruba land, began his agitation was because of the killings of the Funani Hessmen. Today, we learned that the 27 Eastern Region Governors, the Southeast or Southwest Eastern Region Governors, gathered together and said that we are no more accepting open grazing. But guess what happened last week? Buhari signed a paper. Buhari signed a deal. Buhari signed it. It is officially signed that there is nothing you can do to stop open grazing. That it has been there. And they have assigned at the map committee to see through it. What do you want to see through? How can you impose what people don't want on them? I'm not just telling you. Anything you see me telling you are facts. Go to news. Go to news. Go to media. You will see it. You will see proofs. What I'm telling you now, uh, 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 what do you call them? Um, uh, channel television have it arise. All the media houses have this news. It has been approved. You have signed it. How can you sign open grazing on the people that tell you we don't want open grazing? And this AK-47 they carry about, you have done nothing about it. They go into villages and kill people and occupy their homes. Watch what has been happening in Jaws. They kill communities and when community gather to kill one for any man, immediately they release policemen, they become policemen in their thousands to go into that community to make peace. And when they get there, they began to arrest all the citizens, indigents of that community. And the whole Funanis that went to fight in that community, they never found anyone, they never arrested anyone. 
how can you keep people and tell them not to fight back? You come to a community when people sleep, you come with your AK-47. You kill as many as you can kill and set their homes set up blaze. And then you take over their homes. You take over their farms and give it over to your cattle. And when any of them revolt, police will arrest them. And the Buhari will sit and tell me that these are hungry men. And the Gumi will tell you that these men are hungry men. Who? Which angry man have AK-47? How can an angry man obtain AK-47? You and me know that AK-47, the amount it costs, is the amount that will set a young man that have a mission, that have a vision for life. AK-47 is, is not just a local gun. It's not just a local machine. It's, it's just a machine that is well recognized all over the world. And the Gumi will stand to tell you that these, they are not criminals, that they are hungry. That is why they are frustrated. And Buhari will tell you, leave those men, they are not, they are not, they, 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 they are not Funanese, that they are just hungry people that came from, if they came in from other countries, is it important? Why have you not deployed the people to get these people arrested? We see them, we know them, and still you will tell us you are looking for them. Thank you, my brother, wisdom. Thank you. May we not allow anything distract us. May we not allow anything distract us. All these things are their strategies. Distraction. With this distraction, they will do anything. As this election is around the corner, this election is around the corner, believe you me, any little distraction that have fallen upon this land, the Biafra land, upon all the agitators and upon all those that are willing to stand up and say, no election, just a little distraction. You will see everybody disorganized. And before you come back to get yourself together, the election has passed. This is their strategy. And these their strategies. Let us not allow it to come. Let us not allow these their strategies to come. Because if we make a mistake of undermining this of, of, of undermining this distraction, saying it's a normal distraction. I'm sorry, we will all cry for it, and it will be too late. It will be like crying for milk where they don't throw for sand. Nothing you can do about it. Nothing. So, within at the top, make all of us stand with one voice. Those where they fight, who be who, who they who, who talk who. Anything you can fight against is the only person that speaks against the OS. Any person that speaks against Mazi Nande Kalonyendu. Anybody that says contrary to what the OS have said, fight that person. But anybody that the OS have said, sit at home and that person comes to tell you, yes, we are sitting at home. He is not your enemy. Your enemy is those are those that are fighting against you indirectly. Your enemies are those that will tell you why will a, a DOS tell you to sit at home and you are obeying. Your enemies are those that will tell you now that the uh, sit at home is working. Why would the uh, DOS come and tell you to stop sitting at home? They are your enemies. They don't mean well for you. All they want is distraction. Period. And once they get you distracted, it is done. I have a news. I have somebody that sent me a mail. He sent me, stop talking. Stop talking all this since you are talking. Do you know what Ohaneze is doing to, to see that Mazen Nando Kalo come out? Ohaneze has appointed a new leader. Ohaneze is doing this. Ohaneze is doing that. I look, I say, what? So very long, very long writing. That will take you about five minutes to read. 
And this is the same man that will come to my post every time to tell me I am talking rubbish because I'm saying the truth. Nobody, nobody means well for you more than you mean well for yourself. That's one thing you must know and put into consideration. Nobody will love you more than you love yourself because I can pinch you without knowing the pain. But you cannot pinch yourself because you know how much it will pain you. Every side talk that brings instructions, that brings disobedience, please let us not listen to them anymore. Let me lie down this baby. I'm coming back. We'll talk about the election. I'm coming. Just a moment. Sorry for the inter inter interruption. I'm very sorry. So, like I had the talk before, no election, no two ways about it. No election is no election. <sighs> Excuse me. Why there will be no election? Make I tell you. You know, say make we no misunderstand no election and the boycotting of election. Peter Ricky, thank you. No election wisdom, thank you. Make we no misunderstand them. Boycotting election, be say we fit boycott them some go go, some no go go. Stopping the people you want to win, stopping the people that want to win from winning, or stopping the mass from participating. But no election means. Nobody will come out. You see the way the streets of Abia State is today. Even, excuse me, some people that work out for road itself. That day, nobody should come out to go near near any police stations. Simeon Ekpa has volunteered that if they employ you as a, a, a electoral officer or electoral anything, don't go. If they will pay you that 5,000 naira, call him. He will pay you. Only show him the proof. Simeon Epa said this. He said, show him the proof that you got that job. He will give you the money. But don't participate. So what are we saying? If we will not participate in that election, in just the whole Biafran land said... We will not participate in this election and we mean it. You will see that the go just only one day sit at home in the land of Biafra, the whole governance become paralyzed. If we sit at home and they say no election, there is nothing the governors will come out to do to you. Nobody will come and beat you. Nobody will fight you. Nobody will force you to go to any polling station to vote. Now that election is around the corner, you will see people gathering together. You will see people coming to your house. You will see those big men and big women coming to your house to give you bundles of money. You will see them coming to give you wrapper. You will see them coming to bring you cartons of hot drinks. You will see them coming to give you bags of rice. But I must tell you, remember, whatever they give to you is temporal. Is something you will eat today and tomorrow you will not have it again. What will you do? How are you a fool that somebody that have not greeted you for once, somebody that has not passed through your road before, not talk of coming into your house, will come to your house, bend down to enter that your little lower house, and you sit down, even some will sit on the floor with you, to get you convinced that they love you to get you convinced 
that are going to represent you. How many governors have you ever voted in those Biafra land that represented you? How many senators have you voted that represented you? How many people, how many even local government chairmen have you voted that represented you? How many of them? No one. No one. And now you will see them start doing all those that carica show, all those that America want that come and see. By the road, they will stop to give a, be a beggar money. They will stop to give a beggar wish here. They will stop to, to, to buy akara and they eat akara. And they eat roasted corn by the road like an ordinary human being. Let me tell you. And buy pure water from a pure water seller and drink and hug everybody. Let me tell you. They are all fakes. The only way to stop all these negativities are by not taking part in the election. I'm not asking some to go and some not to go. I am asking everybody, nobody should participate in the election. And you will see that Biafra has come. If nobody participates in the election in the Biafra land, all the governors there, all the ministers there, they will become subject to Biafra. They will must to become subject to the Biafrans. Because then they are no longer under the authority of Nigerian government, but under the authority of Biafran government. Do you now see why you will not participate in election? And this is why I'm asking that this video be shared. That old, make old, old everybody in the village, outside the village, inside, inside the village, make they see this video. Our mama, our papa, them, it don't tell where they, they eat all these cups of rice and all these um, uh, two cups of fertilizers from those politicians. Where they, con they go con carry uh, fertilizers, give them, carry bag of rice. How can you give a community of more than 1,000 people 10 bags of rice to share? And they will share it happily and rejoice and sing your glory. And that day they will come and vote for you. Are you not a wicked man? Are you not a wicked man? When they have bags of rice rotten and thrown away in their house and in their garages. They have cars they don't use. They have bikes they don't use. But you will never smell anything close to their house. Only when election is around the corner, they will remember to dish out to you cups of rice. Cups of rice that will not even be enough for their pets, their dogs and cats. They will give it to you and you will foolishly rejoice and accept and sing their praises. Because we have been deceived for long. We cannot remain being deceived. This is the time we have to open our eyes and wake up to the reality. And the, the reality is that we must not keep accepting anything from these politicians. Because they are wicked and cruel. Once you elected them, you see them flying on the sky and you keep walking on the land. Even their agents, their allies, oh, their, their oddlies, their, their convoys will splash you water without knowing who you are. You are the one that gave them the vote. They feel headache. They will be flown away. To other countries that is better to treat themselves you have a kidney failure you have a heart disease even you have a bone injury you cannot attend to even that local hospital that is not qualified because you will be asked to deposit money you have not seen in your life but when they go sick they'll fly private jets they will go to abroad, America, London, India, anywhere, and they will get healed. And they will still fly bright, fly private jet back into the country. Do you know what it costs to go on private jet? This is our money. This is our resources. They fly on our roads. They fly on our hospitals. They fly on our schools. 
make we think. No be small, my brother. No be small. We don't suffer. No be small. We don't suffer. No be small. Graduates, no school, no job. Graduates, no work. Nothing. All over the world, anywhere you go and see, it's only Nigerians you will see graduated doing many a job in other countries of the world. Only Nigeria. Why? You will see a petrochemical engineer in Europe doing many a job, doing nothing. Some are even, they can't do anything. They are graduates. See somebody that finished biochemistry with a good result, he cannot get a job because his father is not a minister, because his mother don't have anybody to give, because he is a man, because he cannot give himself, because he don't have money to bribe. The women that have their way will bribe their way. And those that could not bribe their way, you see them in Europe doing prostitutes, graduates. And you are telling me you have reason to vote? You have reason to go to vote? And you are telling me you have reason to disobey DOS, the authority of Mazen and the Carlo? No. We must all open our eyes to all these things to see that we have gone through all this long ago and we have been going through it. Our fathers went through it and we came, started going through it till today. Our destinies are in our hands. All the resources of the country are behind our backyard. How can you come to our backyard? Conquer it waiting be our own. You they give us something when you, you they give us little out of it. Look, I tell you, I will go explain to you. You see this cup? If now you get this cup and you no no say now your own, and the honey full inside this cup, this cup, honey full am. And the day your backyard, you don't know say that you get them. Another person come carry them from your backyard and come out. And you see say now from your backyard they carry and come out. He tell you make you no talk. Because you don't know say they your backyard. If you tell us say ah, I no go, he go tip hand, open your mouth, you go put, he go drop one drop for your for your tongue. You go carry the cup, come out. Tomorrow you go come back again, come carry another one. If you talk, it go drop little for your tongue. It go come out. Nine be our problem. We are easily being deceived and being carried away. If you refuse the word. <laughs> My brother, listen to me. I am not talking of anybody winning election. I am saying I'm not saying about boycotting election. I am telling you of not voting. Not voting. What is your name? Not voting at all is what we are emphasizing on. Don't vote at all. Don't vote at all. Don't vote. Anthony D. Maria. Don't vote at all, Anthony. That is the weapon you have. But when some people go to vote, then they will put whoever they want to put. Let me tell you something. All the elections in Nigeria, no one, no one has been fair election. Your vote has never been relevant. The only thing they need is evidence that people came to vote. Then they will manipulate and the right to whatever they want to write. You have to take it or you cannot do anything. The only one election, I keep emphasizing it in all my video. The only one election that has been fair election in Nigeria was the election Humphrey Wosu conducted. The election Abiola versus Stoffer, 1993. 
that was the only fair election and guess what happened because the result of why why the why because the result of that election because the result of that that election was a system that as you took the election immediately immediately every police station announces their result you don't wait for votes immediately you see people line up you can count by yourself everybody have videos where their records were there you record this is the abiola's party there are 20 people here this is tougher people there are 10 people that is everybody knows the result there was no secret and because they could not stop that result they could not manipulate it Result has been published in Area 10, Gariki Abuja, in the sign in the board of, um, I, I, I think then it was INEC or NEC office. Then, IBB cancelled the election, saying that he has not announced the winner. How can IBB be the announcer when you have given the INEC chairman authority to do whatever? To handle the election. And this IBB is now the one that is coming back to tell us that today's corruption is too much. What corruption? Somebody that don't even feel impulse of blood in him. Somebody that don't even care if you are dying and roasting. Is now telling us that corruption is in Nigeria. IBB now saying that corruption is in Nigeria, that the power it, it has been in the hands of old. Who is deceiving who? IBB that denied the Nigeria the only joy of their vote, the only joy of being right, the only joy. The only time Nigeria came out to vote and the vote somebody in and that person emerged as winner IBB hijacked that moment and denied the Nigeria all they have desired all their dreams I thank God that today people have begun to realize their mistakes people are beginning to see go to their state today even at the point of DOS announcing the seat at home has been lifted for now. The whole Abba Abia, Abba, the whole Abba, Abba Nile, no under lock and the key. The whole Abba under lock and the key. It's a progress. I love it. I love it. At least. This is not a call from IPOP leaders. It's a call for people that are willingly doing whatever they are doing because they want to do what they are doing. I'm trying to see is a protest. Which protest? Where, Anthony? Okay, Antonio Di Maria. Antonio Di Maria. Um, uh, which protest are you talking about? Is it the one in states or where? You said that the first is a protest. Where? Highlight us so that people will know. So, like I was saying, let us maintain on this stand of no election. <laughs> Excuse me, and make we remember that small girl. I beg that young girl that police, Nigerian police force, has abducted, has kidnapped, used her as a slave, as as, as a slave in their in their police um uh, in Oweri. After maltreating her, enslaving her sexually, enslaving this girl, they sexually enslave her. Use her as their housemaid, using use her as anything. They use her to wash their clothes, use her to clean their houses, use her as a slave slave, sex slave. After this, now they could not allow this girl freedom. Who knows what 
is happening to her now. This young girl, Gloria Okoli, please let us share this video that many people will see and that many people will speak. The girl did nothing. The girl don't do nothing. The girl never do anything. They just see the girl road for road. They carry him say in be Biafra. The girl no be Biafra. The girl no get any channel where they talk about Biafra. The girl no get any Facebook where they talk about Biafra. The girl no get any Biafra material with her. They just carry the girl because we are black. Say in be Biafra. Now so police carry them, keep them for where they, they, they use them for sex. If this one use finish, the other one go use. As they do and finish, the Okada man where they come out, where they release from the same place where the girl they, where the girl don't tell. I beg if you go house, tell my people say where are they. The man can't go talk. Tell the parents see where your child they. The parents can't go. May they go bear their picking. They no agree make the bellam. After they don't collect money, they no agree release the girl. Finally, they tell they say they don't carry the girl go Abuja. We are for criminal um for DSS office for Abuja. May they go there go bear their picking. Parents will never shop the food. How they want get money where they want to go Abuja? Who they know who they want go meet? The only thing we go do for them now we go do for that innocent girl. Make we talk. Make we open our mouth to talk. Make people hear. Make people know. So that this girl go get freedom. I beg. I beg. I beg everybody. Help me share this video. Two important things. Or three most important things. One. Distraction. Who take oath and who no take oath. is not important. We know the fight oath. We the fight freedom. We are fighting for freedom. We the look for freedom. So make anybody no use um Simon Epa no take oath or in take oath to come as a distraction. Two, no election in Biafran land. All Biafran land, no election anywhere, anywhere from today. Anytime they call for election, nobody is coming out, nobody will participate. Tell your mother, tell your father, tell your brothers, tell your uncles in the village. They should not participate. And three, and most importantly again, this young girl, Glory Okoli, I beg, this Glory Okoli, you can imagine what that young girl under 20 years is going through in detention, police detention. I don't even know whether now for underground they throw them. I don't even know whether they still they use them for sex. They, they use them as their sex slave. Imagine Nigerian police and nobody will judge them for this. Nobody will call them. If this is in a civilized world, once anything like this is mentioned, in a, a, an investigation will be carried out. But in Nigeria, no investigation, no nothing. Even if they cut the girl into pieces, nobody will ask anything. Nobody will say anything. That is a country we are in a dictatorship. On that dictatorship. How can people tell you we don't want to open grazing anymore? And you are coming out to tell us that you, Buhari, have signed. Buhari have signed that... Uh, 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 20, 20, um, uh, 25 states he have signed open grazing routes and open grazing field and sites for 25 which 25 states how can you force people to accept what they don't want to accept if anybody wants to sell cow let them go and sell their cows how can you use grazing to overtake Nigeria? Look at what they have done in Jaws. They have taken Jaws. The indigenous of the community, you, Nigeria, Nigeria authorities, carry them, go put for camp. Why Funalese occupy their land? And you are telling us that you don't know the people that are behind this. And Buhari will sit there to tell you that they are hungry people. 
journalists who enter a community go enter village enter everywhere they enter they go kill for just go and read news i'm not telling you because I'm, i want you to listen i'm telling you because i want you to know the truth funanese enter villages in jaws in jaws i don't know the villages name but villages they enter they kill the community they kill the community they overtake their homes take the, they overtake their farms and the remaining ones that run away the government got them and they put them in camps Okay. That is the country you are saying is one Nigeria. I don't see anyone not to talk of Nigeria. No, I don't see anyone not to talk of Nigeria. My people, I go end up here, but I beg, make we try help me share this video because the more people get them. The more we go know, the more we go understand. Make with the listen to, like I said before in the beginning, our enemies no be who take oath or who no take oath. Our enemies now who they talk against the authority, against DOS. Our enemy now anybody will go make you see reason not to obey DOS orders. Our enemies are those that will come and tell you otherwise of anything DOS has told you to do. When DOS tell you to sit at home, the enemy will give you reasons not to sit at home. And when DOS tell you not to sit at home again, that is that it has been lifted, the enemy will still come back and make you see reasons. To disobey them. Anybody that makes you serious in to disobey them are your enemy. They are your enemy. They are all over the social medias. They are all over Facebook. They are all over Twitter. They are all over uh, uh, Instagram. They are all over YouTube. In fake names. All those people that are saying that. Tell them to give you a to give you a minute of video call. You will see that they will not come out because they are using fake accounts and fake pictures. They use fake names. They use fake pictures. They may use my picture. They may use anybody's picture. Please, anybody telling you otherwise anything negative, tell them to host a minute video with you. Simeon Ekpa is not a problem. He's taking oath. He's not taking oath. We never be a problem. That does not stop us from actualizing our dream. The only problem we have is only stopping and the stumbling blocks to our uh, to, to to the realization of our dreams. So anything that is against us actualizing Biafra is our enemy. And not anybody that is fighting with us. Whether you are wearing the same uniform with me. Whether you are not wearing the same uniform with me. As long as we are going on the same direction. We are family. As long as we have authority. That when this seat at home was cancelled. I was watching Simeon Ekba. I didn't know it was cancelled. He was hosting a program. And somebody... He was saying that this sit at home, with this sit at home, we are going to paralyze Nigeria. And all of a sudden, somebody wrote, wrote, said something to him that this sit at home has been cancelled. He was surprised. He didn't know. What did he do? He said, I will find out. He suspended it. He found out and come back to tell us again that the sit at home has been cancelled. Somebody that obeys the authority you obey. Why will you fight him for taking an, oath, uh, taking an oath or not taking an oath? Why will you fight him for wearing uniform or not wearing uniform? All those things are not our emblem. All those things are not our identity. Our identity is truth and justice. Kachuko kikabiyama. Onye keri yeni ile. Onyem bido no onyo gugu no yena eni luwa na mbeni le bibi kachuku okika bi ama we pura yo gba chi we pura yo gba sase we pura yi ntisa we pura yi ngota hie no gu bia fry na lo kachuku okika bi ama 
duayi chaye kome panya ye huzo mwezi oku huko ne ase huye ndibu njojo neme nge hawu hajiri efe dika dika umu aturo mana hawu umu wos ajwa anu na tabu aturo maha ge yiri efe dika aturo ka hawu e batari etiti umu chiova ka hawu e bia bibi eti sa ngike umu chineke chineke dubo moge chineke dubo moge chineke dubo bo nye nduwa ebo maze kano ebo polo nubwa iyo polo na gabiga wayume aina yoge ose bulu wa onye waye menaye amana sita na wapara wage ujesu kristi amen kachine keno yina eni leno biko hepo onum basa anuzia share this video that many will get it share this video that girl is still in police detention we have not heard anything about the girl the parents have not heard anything about the girl please share this video thank you very much god bless you all thank you for watching bye